Imagine being in an online class. Everything is going well and according to plan, except you have finished all of the material and you still have five minutes left on the clock. What do you do? Hi, I'm Teacher Stephanie from teachingstephanie.com and Teaching Stephanie on Instagram. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about a few universal class extension activities for you to use in the online classroom to keep your students engaged, review the lesson material, and use up any extra time. In this video, we will cover four really easy class extensions to use and how to do them on the fly if you are ever in a pinch. They are one, teacher versus student, two, guess the word, three, show and tell, four, tell a joke. Now let's jump into these extension activities. I teach online for two companies. One is OutSchool, where I get to choose what I teach, when I teach, and the lessons I want to teach from children all over the world at any time of day. And then the other company I teach for is VIP Kid, where I teach pre-made lessons for students living in China on how to speak English. You can find my application links down in the description box for both of these companies if you are interested. I also have playlists on the application process and all my tips for that, so be sure to check that out below. Now, let's talk about the extensions. I'm going to show you, they work for both companies and most others. They're universal for ages, um, different size groups, and different companies. So I hope you find them helpful in your online teaching journey. So first, let's go over the game teacher versus student. I want you to ask them a series of questions on the lesson topic. If the students get it right, they get a point. <laughs> if they get it wrong though, the teacher gets a point. Here is an example. What is two times five? 10, they get a point. What is six times eight? 45? Oh, I get a point. It's a great way to review with the students and get them interacting with you about what the lesson was about and reviewing that material. You can use this with any content and any age level, but be careful. These kids get really competitive. <laughs> so do I. All right, on to the next activity, which is guess a word. When I was little, this was called a hangman, but it probably isn't politically correct anymore to call it that, so we call it Guess the Word now. So we played a little bit differently than Hangman 2, so I've adapted it to make it a little bit less gruesome. For this, you will just need a whiteboard, or you can draw it on the screen using the whiteboard function on Zoom. Um, or in VIP Kid, you can just use the last blank slide. I draw a tree with seven apples, and then I draw a line for each letter in the word they will be guessing. So I'll have them guess a letter, and one at a time, they each get to guess a letter, and if they get the letter correct, I put the correct letter in the correct place. If they guess the letter wrong, I put it to the side so they know which letters they've already guessed, and then I erase an apple. If they lose all the apples, then again, I win, if they guess the word though, they win. So that is such a fun game to use vocabulary words and words that they talked about in the lesson. And it's a great review and fun way to get them engaged in the lesson. So you can talk about the meaning of the word in class. And for groups, the students take turns guessing individual letters. With individuals, they just keep guessing a letter, but it's great to kind of extend their knowledge on the word you were talking about. You will need good readers and spellers for this activity. So I would say no younger than six years old and maybe seven if this is their second language. And you can be the judge of this as you teach them throughout learning. You know, even if this is their first class, you can be the judge of that on the fly. Now, the next activity I want to share is show and tell. Now, this is a chance for you to swap roles with the students and share, let them share something. It could be their favorite part of the lesson, it could be something they made during class time, or even something special that's special to them, like a toy or a funny joke. Um, you could help lead the hunt to find something in their house with a question about class, like, hmm, could you show me your favorite animal toy? If it was a class about 
animals. Or I want you to find something that starts with the letter B. This might be for a preschool class. Um, this not only gets them up and moving and moving their bodies, getting out those wiggles, but it also lets each one feel special as they share about themselves, they share what they brought. They love this activity. Now remember, building rapport with the students leads to re-enrollments and more bookings in classes. So you really want to build that relationship and this is a great way to do it. Not to mention that it gives you high class reviews. Okay, and the last extension activity is to tell a joke. And let them tell one too. You can easily Google a few to have on hand for any class that you teach, or you can look them up on the fly to fit with that class topic. After you tell the joke, be sure to let the students get in on the fun and be little comedians in an open mic session. Um, these are always so funny to hear what the students come up with, what they want to say. I just always preface this with no potty jokes, please. We don't want to hear those. It's a great way for students to connect with each other across the globe. They find these fun little friends online from different countries even, and it's so fun for them. It definitely puts a smile on their face at the end of class, which is always a great thing. That's always my goal. I hope these little extensions were helpful and something that you can use and add to your repertoire in the online classroom and your online teaching tool belt um, to make really a great class as you teach your students online. That's what it's all about. If you are looking for more extension activities, you can download my universal extension activity guide and I will leave it down in the video description box. There you will find 16 learning activities that will help you and your students review the material engage with the teacher and use up all of that scheduled class time. I'd also love to hear your favorite extension activities too. Let's build a little list down below this video that others can use. So what do you like to do with your students in the last few minutes of class time? Let me know in the comment section so that we can help other online teachers and come up with a fun list here on this page. If you enjoyed this video, would you do me a favor and give it a thumbs up? My goal is always to help you find the fun in online teaching and I hope that's what I did today with these class extension activities. Now be sure to watch out for next week's video, which is class icebreakers, and that will help you get your students talking in those first few minutes of class and get to know them a little bit better. Thanks so much for watching. In the words of my hero, Mr. Rogers, let's make the most of this beautiful day. Happy teaching.